hello dear students in this lecture we will be discussing briefly about the numerical problems of linkage as we have already done most of the numericals in class so you know what are the steps to do this numericals so in this lecture i will just uh, show you the problems which we have already done in class and so you can see the steps uh, and practice on your own and refer books like Griffiths, Peers and other books, Snostad, etc. for doing more uh, problems from linkage. Please refer to Griffiths for genetics problem the way we are doing in class or we have done in class and you can also refer to peers so uh, let us understand what are what is interference and coincidence so interference is the formation of one chiasma actually reduces the probability of another chiasma in the adjacent region of chromosome this is called interference and uh, interference is inversely proportional to coefficient of coincidence so what is coefficient of coincidence uh, two adjacent crossing overs in a single pair of chromosomes are not generally independent of each other one interferes with the other and the strength of interference is expressed in terms of coefficient of coincidence so coefficient of coincidence is um, when two crossover takes simultaneously in the vicinity and interference is when this is interferent interfered interfered means that when there is interference of formation of two chiasma in vicinity so when there is complete interference no double crossover will be observed and so the coincidence will be zero but when interference decreases coincidence increases so the value of coincidence varies from zero to one and we have to remember this formula that coincidence plus interference is equal to one so this is the first uh, formula which you are uh, seeing in this lecture coincidence plus interference is equal to 1 and you can uh, refer Griffiths uh, for the way we are doing practicals uh, we are doing the numericals in class there are several ways through which you can do numericals of linkage but the way we are doing we have done in class we you can refer Griffiths so this is uh, the three point test cross which they have explained in Griffiths and you can let's just read on your own to practice and this is the numerical problem you can practice so this is first numerical problem which they have given and the way we have done in class they have uh, also adopted the same manner so this um, numerical which we have already done in class and this is uh, you can see from the data itself that uh, this is a linkage problem and in this uh, only the non crossover and recombinants are there so they are these recombinants which are uh, representing only single crossover no double crossover progenies are there so um, from the data itself you come to know that this is a numerical problem where only SCO or single crossover progeny is there so you the question says that calculate recombination frequency and prepare linkage map so you can very well um, carry out this problem on your own and this is how we did in, in the class so you can just refer to your notes this question number two the data itself from the data itself you come to know that this involves a single crossover progeny as well as double crossover progeny and then they because when double crossover progeny is there so they will also ask you about coefficient of coincidence and interference so 
we have already done this in class so you can do it on your own and this is coefficient of coincidence formula percentage of observed TCO that is your double crossover upon percentage of expected double crossover where percentage of uh, observed double crossover is number of TCO progeny upon total progeny into 100 and uh, the uh, formula for percentage of expected double crossover is single crossover in region 1 into single crossover in region 2 upon 100 where SCO and SCO2 are distances between the first and second and second and third gene. Now the fourth um, the fourth formula is coefficient of coincidence plus interference is equal to 1 which we have already discussed and fifth is how to find interference when you just minus from 1 you get uh, interference. So this is the third numerical which we have already done and this has also come in previous question papers. So this question involves only two factor test cross while the other problems have are three factor test cross. Now this is a numerical problem which involves a three factor test cross and you can just see from the data itself that it involves double crossover progeny um, and so it will they will ask you about coefficient of coincidence and interference. This is a problem from Russell. You can practice this problem and um, you can just make the genetic map so you will understand it better. When as many problems you practice, you will understand it better. So this question has already come in uh, open book examination, um, first batch of open book examination. So I think we have done this in class and this we have already done in class. So this problem is different from other problems because here the question the data is represented in words and so you will have to work out the symbols. So since we have done in class so you can just uh, practice on your own and this is how they have we have solved this and this is a problem from peers so this is a conceptual problem very simple problem but it uh, it tests your concept so this also we have done in class and this is the answer of this question so if your concepts are clear about linkage the numericals will be very easy for you so thank you students you please refer to um, Griffiths Pierce and other Russell and other books for practicing the problems thank you we will be meeting in next lecture now